Hello everyone. My name is Kiya Python Rajit Pipit. Today I will show you how to use ClickSense to create K-Mean clustering dashboard to analyze and predict customer data in the shopping mall use case. In this use case, ABC Shopping Mall has just implemented membership system. The system categorizes customers into silver, gold, and platinum based on annual income and spending score. For example, score more than 60 will initially become platinum member. This membership system also has other data such as frequency score and recency score which are really useful. ABC has QuickSend and like to use K-Mean Castling to categorize customer, then compare and analyze the result. First, what is K-Mean Castling? K-Mean is a way of grouping data based on the position of the data point. It is one of the machine learning algorithms that we can use in the predictive grouping model to cluster our data into the relevant group. In QuickSense, there are four new functions, which are K-Mean 2D, K-Mean Centroid 2D, K-Mean ND, and K-Mean Centroid ND. Now, let me log into QuickSense and show you the demo. First, let's import data. Go to Files Location. Select more customer.csv. We have customer ID, gender, age, annual income, spending score, membership type, frequency score, and recency score. Let's add them. Click Edit Sheet to create our visualization. Bring in Scatterpot. Use Customer ID as the dimension. Measure them as annual income and spending score. Create one variable to define the number of cluster that we want. Default it to 4. Bring in the input box. Map our variable. Select slider. Value from 0 to 6. If we select 0, it means auto cluster. Bring in one more table so that we can compare the predicted value and the actual value. Dimension them as customer ID and membership type. In this use case, the shopping mall has three types of membership, which are silver, gold, and platinum. They gave platinum status to customer who has annual income score and spending score more than 60. Let's put the reference line into our scatter pot. The customer on the top right segment are platinum member and the other three group would be either gold member or silver member. Now, let's use K-Mean clustering function to do this predictive grouping and compare the result. Add the K-Mean function, number of cluster, and the coordinate, which are annual income and spending score. Then the customer ID. Put the equal sign at the front, then click Apply. We group customer into four cluster. For now, 
Let's analyze Platinum customer on the top right section. After running this KMIN 2D algorithm, we notice that there are two customers, which are customer ID 90 and 121, in which KMIN function has categorized them into Platinum. But they were actually on the gold status because of the hard-coded rule of score 60. Well, for business, we see these two customers has potential as they are being categorized as Platinum, and we may consider give them upgrade status. Next step, I will add more coordinates into our KMIN calculation and use KMIN ND function against the same data. Then after that, we will try to analyze and compare the results between KMIN 2D and KMIN ND. I am now renaming and duplicating the sheet and we use it for our KMIN ND. Go into edit mode. Click on scatter plot and into the expression. As we already have annual income and spending score here. I will add frequency and licensee score into the equation. Then change to D to ND. For KMIN ND, we would need to specify the number of iteration, which I put default to 10. Here we are, the result of our KMIN ND with frequency and recency coordinate in our calculation. We can notice that there are some changes to some of the customer which used to be categorized as Platinum. But now, this customer ID 198 and 200 were categorized as Gold status. This is because of the new coordinate of frequency and recency score coming into play. Probably, these two Platinum customers has not been coming to our store for quite some time or not really spend with us often enough. For business, we have option to downgrade them into gold status or we may try to bring them back by some marketing campaign or some promotion. But I'd rather go with option two. You have learned how to create KMIN custling from scratch. Now, let me show you a much easier way to create KMIN custling using the Insight Advisor. This capability was available since November 2020 version. Go to Inside Advisor, select Customer ID, then Annual Income, then Spending Score. On the Auto Generating Chart section, go down. Then we can see KMIN Custling Chart on the right. Let's add them to the sheet. Now we go back to the sheet. With this capability, we do not need to type in the KMIN expression from scratch. After adding the auto-generated chart into the sheet, we can open it up to modify the expression if required. Go into the expression. The number zero here means auto-cluster, but we know we want four cluster, so let's change it to four. Then click apply. Let's add the reference line, just like the previous demo. In addition, thanks to Click Associative Technology, we can use the KMIN Custling function which calculate cluster on the fly. As opposed to best scoring, which is the traditional way of using a clustering algorithm. With this, we can make selection or change the expression. The scrolling happens immediately based on the current data set in focus and not just a static score based on the previously calculated best score. In this example, we can select the age or age range to participate in our k-mean calculation. 
thank you for watching